Hi everyone, Mike Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In the past several lessons, we have been learning how to make selections flawlessly so that you make your corrections and they blend and don't show any evidence of work. We've gone over the marquee, the lasso tools, quick selection magic wand, We've looked at the quick mask feature, which allows you to paint corrections to existing selections or paint new selections from scratch. We've also looked at the refine edge dialog box. We've discussed feather that allows you to play with your edges. All told, you have almost all of the tools necessary to use in your arsenal to select most anything efficiently and flawlessly with one exception. That is the pen tool. The pen tool is without question the most powerful selection tool in Photoshop. It can select anything. Now, the pen tool specifically is best for super precise, smooth, com smooth curved, sharp cornered, very complicated objects that need perfect, long, either smooth or hard edges. Um, you can do some of this with the other tools, but the pen tool predominantly does that. In this lesson, we're going to show you what it does, how the actual tool works. And this is the key. Most people don't understand how to use the tool because if you don't understand what it does, then you get confused. So I'm going to demystify that part of it just show you the basics of using it in this lesson and then give you some examples of where you'd use it and show you how well it works. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to refine it, setting it down, modify it, and just hone things in. So let's get started. First off, the pen tool. Down here in the toolbox, you see it highlighted. The shortcut, let's just pick another tool. The letter P is in Paul or P is in pen, and there you have the pen tool. The flyout menu has four subtools. Let's very quickly go over those and let me find a blank document. The first one in the flyout is the freeform pen tool. Now, if you remember the lasso tool very simply makes freeform selections. The freeform pen tool makes freeform paths. And that's the difference between the pen tool and the other tools. The pen tool does not directly create selections. It creates paths, which are vector, which is mathematical representations of a shape edge. You can take this path and convert it into a selection by using the paths panel, which is under the window menu. Go to the drop down menu and you can make a selection from the existing path. And then, of course, if you hit it with quick mask, you can see that we have a selection. Let me show you the difference between a path and a selection. We're going to make just a quick path right here. Then I'm going to go back to the lasso tool and make a quick selection. Go to Quick Mask and zoom it up. Remember the jagged edges from a zero pixel feather. There's the edge of the lasso selection. Look at the edge of the path. It's absolutely perfectly smooth with no thickness, no jaggies. Look how far up we are in the pixels, and yet that edge is still perfectly smooth. That's because it is a vector path. Once we convert it to a selection, now it's the same as the lasso tool. Okay, We are creating paths and converting them to selections. All right. Now, as you saw, the freeform tool basically does the same thing as the lasso tool. You don't need to use the freeform tool. Waste of time, in my opinion. Efficiency here. Why make a path, then go over and have to convert it to a selection? Just do it directly. Okay, the second and third 
sub tools, add anchor point and delete anchor point, you can do that directly with the pen tool without having to go over here to the menu, a time saver. So we've eliminated the free form, add and delete.